Hello, hello, hello. I am the Food Basket. Today we're on Brick Rigs again. But today what we're doing, uh, it's not really that much. It's just a quick showcase of some pretty bad creations I made. And I call them bad because truly they are. They're not the best. However, I'm just going to show them off here. So this, most of these, I'm pretty sure all of these are uploaded to the workshop. I know this artillery one is uploaded in the uh, array one but first we have the FHT3 tank now this tank is very big it doesn't look that big compared to that one the turtle however compared to most other tanks this one's actually pretty big see so if I go ahead and go to workshop and say you know I get this one as you can see, there's a big size difference. And compared to Bob, yeah, it's pretty giant. But what is so nice about this one, huh? Well, first of all, it's pretty strong in damage. I can just shoot it with a rocket, and one singular brick fell off. Shoot it again, another singular brick falls off. Shoot it again, another singular brick falls off. It has explosive reactive armor, making it pretty powerful to anything that's high explosive, making it nearly invulnerable to high explosive handhelds. In it, we have a... Well, if I... In first person, you can't really see that much, because the interior isn't designed to be looked at. It has fire suppression that will make sure to spray fire on the seat to where the driver would not catch fire, the engine would not catch fire, and most important parts would just be able to stay extinguished. Now we're going to go on to guns. The smallest gun on this is the top turret right here, being simply one two by one by one minigun. Being able to shoot a small one bullet per, I guess, kind of shot. It's pretty useful for, say, deterring any enemies that might be on foot or in zombie mode, but every other kind of way, it's not the best. The other minigun, however, is inside of the barrel. This minigun is much more powerful. That is a 32 sensor autocannon attached to 32 1x2x1 by by miniguns. Allowing it to be firing at, if you look at the ammo bar at the bottom left, it goes pretty quick. We also have a, I believe, 10 shot high explosive yes it is a 10 shot high explosive cannon and a 10 shot armor piercing cannon shooting 10 per sh 10 individual shells per shot it has a four big motor being not diesel not any of the big boys but still being able to go pretty quick the other creation the thunder aa gun consisting of four 32 sensor autocannons. Four. It shoots around 700 bullets per second. And I think my game was about to crash for some reason. If you look at the bottom left ammo bar, I'm going to fire it and just watch the ammo bar. just depleted its entire ammo supply that quickly. Fires quick, it has a camera for more accurate firing, and an even more accurate camera for even more accurate longer range firing. Being a great AA gun for any occasion. Now this. It doesn't really have a name. It's just a big artillery cannon that shoots a large amount of bullets. 
being nearly a hundred high explosives in one shot, and being about 300 armor piercing in one shot. If I slow down time using magic power, you can definitely see right here that there's a lot of high explosive shells. A lot of high explosive shells. And by doing this, by shooting the ground, they spread out. So you can use this to your, to your advantage to kind of make the bullet spread further. In case you don't want to go for a fully accurate shot, you can do that. So they spread out. Or, and if you're insane, you could break the barrel by hitting it against the ground. And once the barrel is then shortened, it's less accurate. Therefore, even more spread. Which is kind of useless, and the bullets move slower, but it's kind of unique. Now the last one, so this video can actually get uploaded. The Mark I Turtle Tank. This is indeed a large tank. One of the first tanks I custom made. It's huge in size, has a horn, is powered by the biggest possible gas or diesel engine you can get in brick rigs and it has three guns to shoot with and two smaller seats for manual crew handheld gunning after all the main gun on this is giant if you watch the ammo bar I'm going to fire up one round of high explosive shells now watch the ammo bar That's a lot of ammo being shot out. Now for the armor piercing. It shoots less. This tank is also decently quick paced. The turret is very accurate because of the target marker. If you see where that red marker is going to land and I shoot, it's going to land where it was. Allowing this tank to be more like a sniper being able to shoot down targets from very far away and hitting them accurately, making sure that they cannot fire back. And that's not the only main gun on this. It has more than one gun. It also has a smaller front ballistic gun, being only armor piercing, only shooting three bullets at once. However, this could be used when the main gun is damaged, unusable, or if you just have a friend that can help you out. This gun also has its own individual camera, being the green crosshair. However, it does not have its own target marker, but the top target marker can be used as it works anyways. However, there's another gun on the rear, being three miniguns. And the crosshair is the blue one. This one is just three miniguns that can be used for anti troop purposes or kind of very bad anti air. However, I do not suggest using it for anti air as this is, after all, not auto cannon fed, it is simply a default minigun. You have side areas that you could shoot out of, like this, for example as it protects most of your body from getting shot and just leaving your head vulnerable. And yes, that's kind of counterintuitive, but also, you, they can't hit your body. They have to go for a headshot, making your hitbox actually smaller, making it more difficult to hit. And also, just being able to transport, and it's pretty useful for zombie gun. So, this is just my quick kind of... Brick Rigs kind of creation showcase. Hope you enjoyed. You can download these on the workshop under my Steam account. I'm just gonna under you know my username, the Fruit Basket on Steam, being my profile picture, being a fruit basket. You can check that out if you want. And for until my next video when I want to upload, since it's summer when I'm recording this and I want to go use my pool. Goodbye.